Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all really really well. This video is going to be my travel on makeup beauty kit. I don't think I've done this before um, and seeing as I'm travelling tomorrow to New York for a few days and then after that I'm also going to the Maldives but because I'm going there tomorrow I am packing now, packing all of my bags up, my suitcases and my travel bags and I thought I'd show you exactly what I was packing. This is my cabin case. It's a cute little Ted Baker travel case. It is cabin size so you're allowed to take it onto any flight and you can put it in the overhead storage compartments. It fits those perfectly. I've taken this now on Ryanair, EasyJet, every single type of airline and it's all good, it's all good. The thing I love the most about these cases, you may have seen that I've used these before, but this is the brand new version of the cases and they're in a baby pink with rose gold Ooh. and it has this rose gold hardware on it with almost like a white leather. So that comes out and it's all rose gold with white, rose gold and white handles as well. This is super cute. And then if I can show you inside, this is so hard to manhandle. And inside, it's got this like birds of prey print. I love it. So I have that as my carry-on and I also have the matching large suitcase as well. So that'll be going inside the plane. Of course, for the most obvious things, I've got my passport and I've got this little Jimmy Choo um, little gold coin wallet and I always take this away for my little holidays as it keeps my cards in there and a little bit of currency so those are obviously in there and I also have my camera for the trip which is my vlogging and also my photography camera and that is the Olympus Pen EPL7 and I have it in the white um, I'll also be taking with me, this is a 17mm lens, I use this if I'm doing food shots or some product shots or selfie shots in the mirror for my Instagram I also have a 45mm lens and also a 75mm lens. Those lenses are perfect for anyone who likes doing fashion photography and wants to get incredible depth of field where you get the blurry background, a bit like what I've got going on right now. Um, yeah, so I'll be taking that with me. So, let's get into the good stuff now. I have everything in this little Burberry case that I keep, this is what I keep in my handbag usually at all times. I'm yet to do a new what's in my handbag video very very soon, I'll be doing that soon so this will appear in that but I've got everything in this for now. Okay now it depends, as it's quite an early flight tomorrow I haven't decided yet if I'm going to have a little bit of makeup on a bit like what I've got today or if I'm just going to go completely barefaced. Chances are I'll just go barefaced, get onto the plane and just go with my cream, cream routine. Uh, if not then I also have these with me. Um, the cutest little Lancome uh, miniatures. So this is the non-oily sensitive eyes instant cleanser which is a fantastic um, eye makeup remover so I'll definitely be taking that if I have any mascara on because that'll wipe it away really quickly and I also have a comforting cleansing milk for dry skin so again I'll be using that to take off any kind of residue on my face or any makeup because with a long haul flight I prefer not to have any makeup on because I have very sensitive eyes and I'm always rubbing my eyes and I'm always touching my face and I can't be bothered having loads of makeup on my face if I just want to kind of chill out. Then after everything's removed I have two little tiny creams with me which are perfect for travelling. So this is the Hydra Zen from Lancome, the soothing anti-stress moisturising cream. So I'll be dousing my skin in this whilst it's on the plane and I also have a little miniature of the Hydra Zen um, eye contour gel. So I'll be putting that on with the cream and this should be wonderful and hydrating for on the flight. And I've just got them inside my little Clarisonic Keith Haring, Haring cosmetic bag as they are collaborating at the moment which is one of the reasons why I went to New York. So I've got them in there. For further moisture and maybe just to like perk up my skin when we finish the flight, I'm also going to be taking the Cordially Grape Water. Um, this is just so lovely, this is like a little refresher, you just spray it on. Mm. I've also been wanting to try out these products for ages so I think I'm going to take these with me for me and Em to play around with. Em is a good friend, she's a blogger friend and she's coming with me to New York. So on the plane me and her can maybe play around with these. These are Skin Iceland, they're like gels for the face. So this one is for smile lines, this one's for eyes and this one's for the forehead and they're just sort of gels that you stick on and they're really hydrating and brightening and all that good stuff so might play around with some of these as well. I'm going to have my Tangle Teaser with me as I always always have, just my favourite type of brush as you know. And then we've got everything that's inside this little bag so what do we have? The Elemis Mirror, this is the 25 year mirror 
it's got a huge mirror and I just love that and it just comes in a little pouch so it's super easy. I've got my motion sickness tablets here with me, um, the Cinerazine, just boot zone but I get so travel sick on every mode of transport especially boats. Cars are pretty bad as well and flights. So I've got those with me. I've got some hand sanitizer as I don't generally go anywhere without hand sanitizer now especially in London and I'm touching the tubes and I'm touching railings and escalators and all that I just really like to keep my hands clean and I, just, I always really trust Carex as a brand I think it's just a brand my mum always used at home and all that so yeah I trust Carex a lot and this is a strawberry laces flavour so it smells although much more alcoholic than the usual sort of hand sanitizers you get at home but obviously this is a much more concentrated style a little pen in here, I always have a pen in my makeup bag just in case this is one by Swarovski which is really cute there's a black section and a little glittery silver bit and it comes in this little pouch, stinky I'm going to take a foundation with me and the one that I know I can trust straight away to be generally my skin tone and to do exactly what I want it to do is the Nars Sheer Glow. So I have this in Deauville as always, so I'll be taking that with me. To go with it I'll be taking the Beauty Blender. But I generally can't do my concealer or foundation, well concealer especially without this. But when I'm on the go I can't bother taking a brush, I'll just take this and do everything in one. And I've also got two concealers, so this will probably be, when we get to New York, just before we get there, I'll probably put on a little bit of makeup. So I'll put on the Nasha Glow, I'll put on these and just, you know, spruce up my face a little bit. The Clarins Instant Concealer, I have that in number one. And also Bobbi Brown's Corrector in Light Peach. As I know that this straight away can just spruce up my under eyes amazingly. Put a bit of this on, it'll just brighten everything up. And again, I've got my beauty blender and I can just wipe it all in and dab it in. It'll look fantastic. It'll just make me look a little bit more awake. I've got a bobble in there because you always need a bobble for something. And then I've got some lip products. And usually I have a lot more lip products in my makeup bag than this. But I've downsized with it being for the plane. So the main things I have, as always, my By Terry Bon De Rose lip balm. Which I use for everything, every single day. It's my favourite. And this alone over nude lips just looks so pretty. So I've got this. Always got Saw or Whirl with me as they're just kind of my go to shades. So, MAC Saw, I need to give that a bit of a sharpen. To go with that, I have the YSL Rouge Percature in number 10, and I adore this shade. It's so gorgeous. It's like a nude with a lilac undertone to it. Um, so, it's a lovely, I mean, I've got it on now. Yeah, it's so lovely. It's just a really kind of natural nudie pink with a, this lilac undertone. And then last thing in here is just a lip gloss just in case I want to kind of spruce up a bit and I'm obsessed with this one at the moment. This is from Burberry. This is number 17 Nude Beige by Burberry. But I find that these few products together are just kind of my go-tos. They just, oh, they all suit each other and just enhance my lips. That's everything I'll be taking in my carry-on makeup bag with skincare. I mean, the main things for me is that I can straight away take off my makeup. I know people really love to take face wipes, but number one, I don't really like face wipes. And number two, I think they're too concentrated for my skin. I, whenever I use a face wipe now, my skin just feels like it's on fire. I almost feel like there's too much alcohol in face wipes and it really sort of burns my skin. I don't know, so I just, I don't touch them. So that's why I'm getting little miniatures like this that I'll be able to take and I'll be taking, I mean these are my favourite type of face wipes these are the ba Boots Baby Face Wipes which are extra large I just love that with these you can take off your entire face with just one pad so I'll be taking a few of those away as well, probably just like this then I'll just wrap it up ready, pour some onto here, wipe all over my face so it's clean before putting on everything else that's everything, I hope that was a nice little insight really hope you enjoyed that, let me know down below, leave me some comments, let me know what you take in your carry-on luggage maybe it's similar to mine or maybe you've got some other kind of routine that you love doing every time you go on long flights if you liked it then please also give me a like, I love to see that you're liking the videos and I'm always thinking well what else can I do um, but they might like as well so yeah let's give it a like and if you're new make sure you subscribe and come back next time and in that case I will see you then, bye! Mwah.